for the first time ever, Betty sent me an essay, and I didn't have one change, and it was your Father's Day essay, which oh, I think that, is yes, really important. Yes. I never, you know, people say to me, they say, you never talk about your father, you always talk about you your do. mother. You always talk about mother, my mother. I love my mother. And then I thought, yeah, because my relationship with my father was a was a little more of a difficult one. It was a troubled it, yes, relationship. Yes, it is. Mine was too. And I, you know, most people, I think it's, they, most people think of the mother and daughter being the big struggle. No. But you might fight more. Yeah, see, I didn't have to fight with Bessie because she was so sex positive. See, dads, though, it's that whole weird dad thing. Because when you're a little, little girl, it's fun. And then you start to get There's older. that age. There's that age. And then the sex age. And then your dad's like, goodbye. <laughs> the story that I tell. We have very, by the way. We should tell both stories. Go ahead. Okay. You tell yours first. That, that is good. I'm going to do the, the lap story first. Yeah. And then we'll do the beer story. <laughs> I remember so clearly that whole thing of sitting in my daddy's lap when he'd come mm -hmm. home from work and he'd sit there and he'd read the newspaper and yeah and his quiet time his quiet time and I'd crawl over and I'd get in his lap <laughs> and I'd curl up mm -hmm. and I remember very clearly that I would sort of snuggle down and I felt the warmth emanating from his genitals now what am I four years old five years old you don't know what it is yet oh yes I did <laughs> Oh, that's where people are wrong. I knew that was my father's pee pee. This one time, I think I snookered down a little too, and he, and I felt a, <laughs> and, <laughs> and he picked me up and put me down on the floor, and he said, "Betty Ann, honey, you're too old to sit in my lap." <laughs> and I, momentarily crushed, and then I thought, mm. then I went and found my little brothers, and we had. Sex games for the next two Sex years. Sex play that kids yes. do, which is totally yes. normal. It's very healthy. I remember sitting, I was always in church when I was a kid. My parents were very religious. We were always in church all the time. You know, you get bored sitting in the pew all the time by yourself. Like they're wood, something to they're do. hard. Oh, they hurt, and, and you're sitting there, and your legs would stick to them in the summer. And you had no toys. Some kids could get coloring books, but we were never allowed to do that. Ah. And we had to sit in the front fucking row. Yep. You know what I mean? So that's all kind of on display. And I remember... I would, I must have been, what, three, four? I was yeah. young enough that I would sit on either side of my dad's leg, so I'd straddle his hip thigh and sit on one side, and he'd have me, like, with by the waist, and then I would just start to go like this <laughs> in church, and I'd be like, <sighs> and I would orgasm, and I was just doing that rub thing that kids do. Yeah. And he never kicked me off his lap, you know, and I hope he doesn't feel guilty about it, because I think it's why I'm so sex positive. Your first social, uh, like sexual experiences, should be sex play with your siblings because it's safe. I got along great you know? with my brothers, but I got I got rejected by my daddy, so I'm much more comfortable with much younger men. <gasps> That's interesting. I'm comfortable with older men. Ta da! So the other story that we share, because we were, you know, we were talking about this with, you know, what are we going to do for our dad? beer stories? Yes, and my dad's sitting there with these other guys, and they're playing poker and the chips in the table and all that, and they've all got bottles of beer. And, and a couple of bottles of beer, right? Well, so they had a half empty. Yeah, so they got a little bit in the bottom and a new one and all that, yeah. And and I remember, you know, how <laughs> you're looking over the edge of the table, and my dad took a drink and set it down, so I think basically it was just... <laughs> did I make a noise then? No, it's okay. Go ahead. <laughs> this is not clear, but... Uh, he took a drink and set it down, and I saw, and it was getting low, and I saw there was a bottle next to it. I, think that, I could swipe it. <laughs> that was full. And so when I just kept, you know, looking around the table, and no one was <laughs> looking, and I reached up and zoop, ran off with this bottle of beer. And I don't know, from there I don't remember, did I drink it all alone? Did I take some of it and then, you know, not want it because it's not, it was nasty tasting? Oh, you don't remember the beer? See Do you? Yeah. Yeah, I remember the beer more than anything else. My story is, my dad's around the table playing cards, but I think they were playing bridge. And they had the green Heineken bottles, and they all had one. And it was like this oak table, and just like you, up to the side with my little head Look over, and you're up on your tippy toes trying to get up there. And I said, D Daddy, can I have some of your beer? And with that, my dad looked around the table, and all the guys left, because like, ha, 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 give me some, give me some, because they think that I'm going to drink it and go... <laughs> Like most yeah. kids do, go, that tastes awful good. And I just went, ooh, go, 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 go. And then my dad grabbed it out of my fucking hands. <laughs> he's like, that's enough, Corlin, that's, that's enough. enough. 
<laughs> I chugged it, my head went back. It was like down the hatch. <laughs> I think the reason why both our parents had such a good marriage is because they had good sex. And both of our yes. parents said that my mom said if it was an Olympic event, we'd win. And your mom. The only reason I stayed with them as long as I did, Betty Ann, is that we were very sexually compatible. And then she said, he, he, we were a perfect fit. Now, how does she know? I mean, how many people did she have sex with? When it's good and you know. She knew. You know when She it's knew, good. and that it was like, that was the glue that kept that relationship going. So I guess going. we should say, thanks, Dad, for being a perfect fit. Thanks, Dad, for being a good fuck. I mean, you know, it does matter. And... I do love my dad. I love you too, dad.